The youth development movement that we know as 4-H began to take shape in the last decade of the 19th century. Educators then were first beginning to focus on the needs of young people, Subjects that taught boys and girls to appreciate rural life and its opportunities were encouraged. A study that took place in the 1890s called for education of the head, heart, and hands, education that was closely related to the environment in which the students lived, education about the soil, farm animals, tools, cookery, and housekeeping. School superintendents, Farmers Institutes and forward-looking individuals all over the country responded by starting out-of-school work programs with their boys and girls. The fundamental principle behind this activity was to extend agricultural education to rural young people by organizing boys and girls into clubs where they could learn by doing. No one individual or place can be credited as the founder of 4-H or the place where 4-H began. 4-H type programs began in a number of places at about the same time and were shaped by the conditions and environment of each area. Let's listen to the words of A.B. Graham as he describes his early club work in rural Ohio in 1902. 4-H club work, like a great many other things, just uh, grew up after it got a little start. I was a school teacher in the rural schools, and a feeling kept coming over me that uh, the children were not being helped in their educational work by their own immediate environment. Mr. Graham became determined to solve that problem. And I formulated a plan whereby we would test out seed corn of different varieties. Then Mr. Graham hit the road. After I had gone around with my horse and buggy to 12 schools, I had 35 children. These children volunteered to take up with the plan that I laid before them. So we organized on the 15th day of January, 1902. Another pioneer in the founding of agricultural clubs at the turn of the century was Jesse Field Shambaugh, who at the time was an 18-year-old school teacher in Page County, Iowa. Now, we didn't have any very formal club, we, but we did things. We had, um, the boys had a corn club, and we called them corn clubs because this was the most important crop of Iowa at that time. And then later, when we made the 3-H pin, we made it a clover because we believed that was a very helpful thing in conserving the soil. The following individuals are recognized as being among those who founded 4-H. You may or may not recognize their names. Ella Agnew, Dr. Liberty Hyde Bailey, Oscar H. Benson, Mr. Benson designed the first three-leaf clover emblem, which was used nationally in 1907 and 1908. Thomas M. Campbell. Marie Cromer. T. A. Erickson. A. B. Graham. Dr. Seaman A. Knapp. Cap E. Miller. Will B. Otwell. Jesse Field Shamwell. As we celebrate the first 100 years of 4-H and look forward to our next 100 years, the vision for the 4-H movement that guided our founders will be our guide in this new century. <laughs>